we walk through this process. That's yeah. Right. I even yeah. see things that aren't say up to what my standard would be. I'm just like, yo, kudos to them for finishing. Yeah. It's yeah. hard to finish. Yeah. Hard to finish. You know, unless somebody asks me, I don't have anything negative to say in that light because yeah. I know what it took for them to do that. Mm-hmm. And it's hard. Yeah. They were brave enough mm-hmm. to do it, to step out, not having all ducks in a row, not knowing what they're doing. And they still got it done. Mm-hmm. Some of us know what to do and we still ain't doing what we're That's supposed right. to do. Hi everyone and welcome. My name is Carrington Austin and welcome to another episode of Inspire with Carrie. I am so excited for our guests today, Josetra Baxter and Tamara Finkbeiner. They are both the co-owners of 171 Productions. And I'm gonna let them kind of talk about what their specific roles are and then we'll go from there. All right. so. Tamara, you yes, ma'am. direct, and what else can you kind of elaborate? Um, I do a lot of the, I do direct, um, depending on the project, mm-hmm. and a lot of uh, camera work and also writing. Um, again, it just depends on the project, and um, we pretty much, in our situation right now, we pretty much do all jobs. Got um, it. Bring in someone and you know hire them for a specific job, but we kind of tackle all of it from producing pre-production to production to post-production editing. I'm an editor as well, mm-hmm. and so we kind of just do it all. Yeah, mm-hmm. got it. So, so Josetra, do you want to kind of go more into what you do? I know you yeah. kind y'all kind of do it all, but um, I don't know if there's more of a role you take on. Right. Yeah. So I definitely assist with the project management piece as well as Sam. And like she said, we do both pro, uh, pre-production and post-production together. I edit as well. And on set, I'm normally the boom operator. Okay. Um, sound and all of that good stuff. So awesome. we, yeah, we tackle everything together. We actually learned a term. It is, um, Lord. Fixer, producer. Fixer, producer. producers. Okay. That's what we, literally, <laughs> we kind of look at everything. Right. Got um, top, bottom, we kind of just figure it out. <laughs> makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Cause you got to have to do what needs to be done for the end product. And it's easier if everybody knows how to kind of fit in. And I get that. I'm going to go more into what you all do. And then I know you all work with wow, walking on water productions. I know you guys work with them. Um, and we'll get more into that. And then even your show secrets in plain sight, in plain sight. <laughs> and I was just watching, I'm going to go more into that. Cause I think the show is really, really good. Um, but first, I kind of want, yeah, it's so good. I'm not even trying to be like flattering or anything like that. It's really, really good. But we'll get more into that. Uh, but first, I kind of wanted you both to kind of answer this. Did you all know that you want to do this even as a young child? Did you imagine that you'd be in the arts or directing or producing or anything like that? I... I think, well, for me, I wanted to be a graphic designer. I wanted to have a graphics firm and I wanted to create movie posters. Mm. Like Interesting. Like for blockbuster hits, I wanted to create movie posters. I didn't know that. That's so specific. Legit. No, legit. I wanted to create. Yeah, that's very specific. I don't think I've ever heard anyone say anything that specific. Like I want to do. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I love that. Crazy thing is I didn't. I didn't do that. (laughs) So I think what you're doing is, you know, maybe a little cooler. I don't know. But uh, wow. I do it now, though. I do do it now. Um, most of the graphics that you see mm-hmm. um, for pretty much all of our projects yeah. um, with 171 and WOW. Because mm-hmm. we're kind of like, I, I would say it's kind of like WOW 7 WOW. Um, <laughs> right. Um, right. It's very much intertwined. Intertwined. Yeah. That's the feeling I was getting. Okay. That's really cool. For me, no. I had no clue. <laughs> I would get into this lane. Um, I've always been interested in the arts, though. Like, Mm -hmm. I was a choir kid. Mm -hmm. um, Singing in the background. Absolutely, singing in the background. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah. Because I'm his leader. I don't like being in front, but I love singing background. Music is my... And see, that's how Um, I came to know you. So when I was like, oh, she does that, too. Oh, that's okay. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh, well, keep going. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but yeah. Oh, you're good. So, no, I was, like I said, I was into music. Mm -hmm kind of into the production, I guess, and um, production management Mm -hmm. through the choir that I sang on. So I started doing like, kind of like the bookings and helping with like concerts together. She be managing Um, stuff, y'all. Yeah, I have been in management for a while. Like, so I knew that management was kind of my lane. I didn't know what was gonna fit in it. Mm -hmm. Um, But 
got introduced to um, WOW Productions through my best friend, Dana, who okay. was acting. And I'll go into the story of how like 171 kind of started. Oh yeah, please do. Cause that was going to be my <laughs> next question. So go ahead. So, um, <laughs> Tam and I randomly were just like, we wanted to like go half on a camera and just kind of like start playing with it. Right. Mm -hmm. We had no like intentions on what we wanted to do. We were just like, we both sure. kind of had an interest. Yeah. So I did like photography in high school. But she was a full blown photographer, videographer, like she was doing all the things um, I was learning. Was I? You were at that point. I think that you were. You were definitely <laughs> designing. Oh, yeah. No, for definitely. sure. Yeah, yeah. That for for sure. sure. So we got the camera together and Dana, my best friend, mm -hmm. wanted to do a cooking show. Cooking and looking good. Cooking and looking okay. good. Was <laughs> like I said, Dana was involved with WOW. Mm -hmm. Tangie, who's over WOW, mm -hmm. came to Dana's launch of um, Cooking and Looking Good mm -hmm. and was blown away. I don't know how, but blown away by all right. her. We were like, because <laughs> we were just getting started. We were like, it's okay, but we're figuring this thing out. Right. <laughs> but she was like, no, I love what y'all are doing. I want y'all to film my play that's coming up. Mm -hmm. And we were like, absolutely not. <laughs> oh, <laughs> No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Because we were just starting. Right. And I held Tangie in a high esteem. Like, I right. loved her work. Still do. Still do. To this day. Love yeah. her work. Um, And I was like, no. And she was like, no, the Lord's telling me, like, y'all, we need to work together. Right. And, like, she just kept, like, pushing, kept pushing yeah, and yeah. kept saying yes. And <laughs> eventually we did it. And um, with have, the caveat, with the caveat. Yes. If we jack it up, don't blame us. Right. <laughs> You. told you we don't know right. we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> yes. Wow. But um kind of started it that way and literally mm -hmm. have not looked back since. We've been working with them ever since and kind of just growing and doing more and more things and getting better and better with each project. Yeah. Wow. So I I don't know. I think that's so cool because I feel like most people who are in the arts, it's something where it's like, oh, I've been wanting to do this since I've been five and it's very very specific and i love how you all it just kind of snowballed from there and then so you got with wow productions and from there so did you start off with like play i know you start off with plays and did you eventually get into tv shows movies like how does that work we started with um what, the, what was uh yesterday is still gone that was the play that, that the we filmed play. okay mm -hmm. and we kind of just came in and started with just the marketing of everything. Got it. Um, yes. We yes. did film the play, but we would go in and get, you know, behind the scenes pieces. And mm -hmm. uh, we would essentially like people see trailers now for the plays and they're just like, how y'all come up? We, we literally sit down and write the trailer. Yeah. Uh, we'll write what we want to see. Mm -hmm. And it may or may not be in the play, but right. this is going to be you know, right. marketing for, for marketing. that. So we started in that aspect and then moved further into um just you know stage management and you know really mm -hmm. background support God, uh, yeah. with wow productions and with tangy and to now where it's a partnership that mm -hmm. goes beyond just backstage work and you right. know background and all that right. it's it's truly you know this i don't even know the word to say like a yeah no it is the a joining of, yeah, yeah the joining of the two and we're just pushing forward in two different areas, you know, starting in, you know, uh, stage plays, but now also, or theater rather, mm -hmm. and now into television mm -hmm. and film, and mm -hmm. we're just going to keep going until yeah, yeah. <laughs> pushing and I'll, forward. And I'll add to we first got, us, got started mm -hmm. um, outside of filming the plays and stuff, we did get into like doing commercials and promo work for like small businesses okay, or right. doing the backstories. And um, we actually also did some short films. Yes. So we were a part of what's the second act film festival yeah. is what it was. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the um, film festival here in Columbia mm -hmm. called second act film festival. Um, and we actually partnered again with wow to mm -hmm. come up with the scripts for those. So we have two short films that um, we did with the second act film festival and won both. Mm -hmm. okay, won awesome. both. It was like back to back. Years. <laughs> Normally awesome. that doesn't. Yeah. When did you guys decide like, okay, now I want to start our own company with 171 Productions and why did you start it? We started, um, that was back when we were filming the first play. Okay. We literally, we have this running joke now, but we didn't know then. We kind of don't take on easy projects. <laughs> 
always our first time doing something yep. and we just jump off the side of the cliff into the water. Pretty I much. love that. Then we <laughs> hit the water. We can't swim. <laughs> Nothing no. on water. <laughs> it really it is. is. <laughs> I don't think people, you know, people see the time frame. Mm-hmm. Oh, y'all been 10, 12, 13 years, whatever. But I'm like, y'all don't understand. Like literally every project we do, it's the first time we've done it. Yep. And the amount of stuff we've got to figure out to do it is mm-hmm. is mind boggling. Yeah. So yesterday still gone. We literally had to learn how to shoot it, learn how to edit it over a summer. Like and yeah. we were in my townhouse. Um yes. And mm-hmm. we're editing in my bedroom. Listen, and it's cute because we're doing this interview in your bedroom. Right. <laughs> This is true. This it's a nice true. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, but no, we were editing in my bedroom. My husband would just sleep on the couch with my son. Yeah. Because it could be one or two in the morning. And we're still editing. We're still editing because we're trying yeah. to, you know, get through this. And mm-hmm. we literally had to finish it in that summer. And, you know, we, we pushed. And yeah. we had to get paid. <laughs> we had to have a business. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah. So, that we were like legit we yeah it had to be legit so we were like all right let's start a business and then we named the company after my townhouse which was 171 colonial commons whatever oh i was gonna ask you where the name came from so that goes i like that that's cute i like that i thought it was like deep like you know seven number of completion and all that okay (laughs) that's great after the fact yeah At that moment, we were like, where it's like, one, but two, I love one. that. Oh. So the first set also yeah, yeah. was the townhouse. Was so my cooking kitchen. and looking good was filmed in her kitchen. That was our first oh, set. Oh, interesting. I think they're very practical for us. Yeah. Um, they do have like, you know, meaning, but it's usually like she said, after the first. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I love it. I love it. Yeah. Well, I have a yeah. question. Did y'all ever have moments, especially when you were taking on these big projects and, you know, you were maybe maybe novices and stuff where you just wanted to give up and you were just like, let's, I just, Girl, why am now. I doing this? <laughs> All the time. We are uh, on calls constantly, what? probably. We send text messages between myself, Josedra, Tangi. Mm-hmm. Uh, we just encourage each other. Yeah. Yes. Because when you're endeavoring to do something you haven't done, yeah. when it's requiring you to level up, so to speak, yes. and learn new things. Like one thing about me, I am an artist mm-hmm. all day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Business of artistry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> but I get that. <laughs> learn this. Mm. You do. So learn it. You do. And I've been like, oh, okay. you know, but we, mm-hmm. we push each other mm-hmm. yeah. because we have to. And when yeah. you decide to jump off the side of a cliff, you have to have that support system. And I'm so grateful that I have two sisters who they're not going to let me stop. Mm-hmm. Right. They're not gonna stay down. Right. And vice versa. I am not. They can be low. That's fine. Right. Said, only one night. One night. Only one night, though. So we, we, have yeah. have, we have to have. We <laughs> we just we don't let it keep going, you right. know, because there are times like I have when we did season one of Secrets and pulled through that edit because we had to have it for the for the, um, for the screening. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And 24 hours and I'm crying and editing. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm not, I was like, I'm not gonna make it. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm and I'm just like, I'm quitting. I just, I just, I just gonna remember they text them. It's three o'clock in the morning. I, I can't do it, you know? Yeah. yeah. But I learned, hey Tam, don't procrastinate. It's yeah. too much. Yeah. <laughs> So, you know, we, we have that definitely the, the mm-hmm. moments where we want to quit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, especially this season Ooh, because it's yeah. literally three times bigger mm. than the first season. Yeah. We ain't know. <laughs> we was just like, oh, all right, longer episodes. We going this, yeah. we going that. Like it's going to be great. Gonna be all great. these new locations. Yeah. And- I'm still in the first yeah. season. So like, please don't spoil it. Just, you know. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Listen, when I tell you, like, we got this thing locked it's down, locked. We, like, to the point, like, people are on set and, like, posting different stuff, we like, no, 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 take that down. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we don't want to leak nothing. Yeah, it's because people like me would be like, oh, okay, I see, you know, just right. observing the background. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, you don't want to do that. Well, I have a question because you were talking about, you know, wanting to give up and all that. How has your faith, because I know you guys are both believers, how has your faith helped you with this, of uh, just persevering and pushing through? 
Well, Chaplin. Okay. So in this season, <laughs> she's a resident chaplain. I have been named the resident. We all have our relationship with God. Um, but I know like in, in this season, literally every piece and every part we have depended on God. Yeah. So I know at the very beginning of this season, I was in one of my kind of like lowest points as we were starting production mm -hmm. just because it was so overwhelming mm -hmm. so big mm -hmm. um and i've got a little girl now she was two at the time i've got a husband now mm -hmm. and it was just like a whole family a whole family, a whole family. <laughs> and that's yeah, basically that's how that happens overnight it feels like like how oh, like, <laughs> what? What? like who who okayed this yeah but, i still have those moments like how this happened <laughs> But yeah, so I was literally kind of like at my like lowest point and mm -hmm. I actually called a close friend of both of ours. We called her Auntie Jackie. Yes. Um, and she's a the prayer warrior's prayer warrior, um, right now, yeah. along with her mother, mm -hmm. another strong woman of faith. Um, but she was like, Joe, have y'all prayed about these different pieces? Every mm -hmm. piece from mm -hmm. patient That's to cad to scripting, mm -hmm. like every piece have y'all prayed. And you said, you know, I said, you know what? I'm going to go back and I'm going to pray. Yeah. And we literally go into every single piece like, OK, God, I don't know how this part's going to work out. I don't know. Like we're literally like film, like got a film on Saturday. It's Tuesday and a location drops. Or we haven't been able to source a location. And it's like, OK, God, we call it. Adventure. <laughs> yeah. At that moment, we call it. OK, this is adventure. Yeah. So that's the way you look at it. <laughs> No, no. Yeah. Just, no. Like, now oh, we're just God. like, okay, adventure. <laughs> adventure. And be like, God, just help us figure it out. Like, mm -hmm. you know the right place that we're supposed mm -hmm. to be. You know the people that are supposed to be involved. Correct. Help us with this. Yeah. And you literally have to depend on that. And we're, I, like she said, we're encouraging each other. We're sending each other scriptures and sermons that come up and different mm -hmm. things just to kind of keep us going because it's a lot outside of everything else that we have to manage with family and, mm -hmm. you know, work and all the other things. Yeah. So, yeah, he's definitely at the core of every single piece. Correct. Awesome. Mm -hmm. awesome. Well, being, you know, staying on that same note of faith, do you ever have people who criticize some of the work that you do? Because, I mean, I think it's great. I think it's fabulous. But you do have some Christians who kind of have this idea that everything you do in the arts needs to be specifically labeled Christian and nothing, you know... Nothing dealing with the drugs or, you know, sex or anything like that. <laughs> Scary oh my stuff. Lord. You know, how nothing suggestive, you, you know. Uh, how dare you deal with reality? Right. In church. Like, this is, you know, Christian. Right, right. I think that, well, I'll say it for myself. I won't speak for the other two ladies. But at the core of what I do, I know that he's at the core. Right. Correct. And I'm always asking, all right, Holy Spirit, how far, like, what can I push? Right. right. Where's, where's my line with me and you? Mm -hmm. Where's that line for the second season? Tangie and I wrote it mm -hmm. together. Um, and so it's just like, why would we leave out reality mm -hmm. for the sake of somebody not liking? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It just, to me, that has never made sense. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, because I know that we are always in the position of, Okay, God, what do you want us to say? Right. right. That's where mm -hmm. uh, where I am at at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And I it's pretty bad for me because I have a level of I don't really care. <laughs> it's like, I, I mean, it's just yeah. and you can between yeah. I and I try to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really do try. Mm -hmm. But there's certain things that I just don't care about. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, outside of not just Holy Spirit, what do you want to say? Mm -hmm. Who are we supposed to be reaching? That's good. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. The absolutely. people that are in the four walls, and we say this in church, we, the church needs to go beyond the yeah. four walls. Yeah. And then yeah. when we go, it's a problem. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Sorry. Yeah. Right. So, but, but even with all of that being mm -hmm. said, mm -hmm. as far as I have seen, we really haven't gotten a lot of pushback. And, mm -hmm. I, and that makes sense because even like I'm not all the way even through the first uh season yet now I'll, I'll talk about why later but um but nothing is super like inappropriate or explicit or anything like that it's not like that like i mean i probably wouldn't let 
Parker watch it at six, but that's just because she wouldn't understand yeah, it. No, I she just wouldn't get it. But like, I would totally let like you know my preteen, maybe teenager watch it. It's nothing explicit. It's nothing like I'd be uncomfortable around. Like my mom, um, she saw a little bit of it and she was like, oh yeah, yeah. Like we watch it, so it's nothing like weird or I, I won't put that out there. It's nothing um, explicit or suggestive or anything like that. It's just some people, you know, can be really certain religious people can you know if it's not you know just preaching and teaching and if it's not like totally sanitized they don't want anything to do with it but um i thought it i mean i like it i'm gonna talk more about it and i I do want to talk more about it later but um yeah i think it's fine so i'm I'm glad you hadn't gotten too much pushback um yeah that makes sense not not, you know (laughs) (laughs) i think season two we did we we did push the envelope a little bit Mm -hmm. but we're still within the space of what are we trying to say yeah correct what do we want the characters to speak what do we want you know to be our overarching feeling so it's kind of like when we're in that space we're kind of like okay you know yeah because again it's not and i heard this today and it made so much sense because i've said this it's like it's not for every single person right right? exactly every single everybody does not like it like i know a guy right now who he told me point blank he didn't really care for it, but that's not his but that's not that's his, not his, yeah no i wasn't yeah. like what do you mean yeah i was just <laughs> okay. okay like i'm not a sports person but like yeah. millions of people are so that has no one's gonna feel bad because i'm not a sports person so yeah every different strokes are different folks i get that and like you said i think the main it's whatever moral and like the main theme is and what you want people to get out of it what you want to promote in and I think that's like the end goal, basically, as long as the right message is being pushed forth. Um, you talked about, you know, y'all being mothers and having, you know, having kids, having a spouse. How do you guys balance that? Oh, because I imagine your career is <laughs> like you don't work a typical, I assume, nine to five. Or do you? Maybe you can elaborate on that or. Well, you do. Well, in, a, in addition, in addition, in addition yeah. to this. Oh, wow. So you do. Job. <laughs> in addition. Wow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, you know, now, and I love my job. I will say this, like God has literally kind of like shown me like my job has its purpose, mm-hmm. right. you know, I love where I am. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, the blessing, the the prayer is one day this will take us off or take me off Amen. of my day, you know, so Amen. that we can do this. Um, but yeah, filming definitely goes into all hours yeah. and the weekend and, you know, all the mm-hmm. things. So literally what I had to do what works for me is I had to get like a little something that I put on my fridge. So my husband knows like, okay, this weekend, yep. this is when we're filming. Yep. This, is this is what's happening on the job. This uh-huh. is what's happening. Morning. And thank the Lord for my parents and for <laughs> our, <laughs> our village, because yeah. they come in and they help and they'll take my daughter sometimes just to give them a break. Um, but also he's extremely understanding. Yeah. Um, and he knows he knew what he signed. He knew what he was signing up for. Yeah. When uh, he met me, you know, what I'm saying that it's not the normal. Um, and I've never been kind of like the normal. I'm, I'm, I'm always doing something extra. Like it's right, never right, like right, nine right. to five and I'm done. Like, yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. So the family support has been hands down mm-hmm. amazing. And I know it's the same. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll be honest, though. When we first started, I did not have a balance. Mm-hmm. Um because I'm the type of person when I start learning something, I engulf myself yes. in it. A hundred percent. Yeah. It doesn't matter who's around me. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I had to learn that because it was at one point, I wanna say maybe five years in, six years in, the Lord was like, You're gonna do this, but you're not gonna do it that way. Mm-hmm things were coming to a head with certain things because it's just like you have a whole fa- a whole family yeah. Yeah. and that has to be prioritized correct you know and for whatever reason in my mind she's like no god you called me yeah, right, right. <laughs> you know i'm called yeah. yeah i gotta you know do what i need to do and mm-hmm. i need to make sure that i learn this craft and i need to you know and they can figure it out yeah and i was like yeah no nah. yeah. because you won't be married yeah, by the Ooh. time it's the mm. success yeah. that you think working mm. towards, and you won't be married. That happens yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Happens. yeah, yeah. So that's why the Lord was like, and I, I, I can look back now and say, God, I thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, I had no, 
idea at that time but now it's just like even if we're filming and she's like well do you think i should xyz yeah go eat with your family yeah right we'll like, figure, it'll be okay we'll figure it out yeah, yeah. We'll do what, but it's like yeah. no go do what you need to do yeah or so how do we need to structure the day yeah yeah so that it makes sense mm -hmm. for your husband for your children how do I need to structure the day? Same thing with Tangie. How do we need to structure the day mm -hmm. so that this works? Yeah, all needs. Yeah, all needs are met. Needs yeah, are met. and sometimes yeah. that's feasible, mm -hmm. and sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's just we're gonna have to figure it out, and make it work. Mm -hmm. Then in other times, it's just like no, we need to. This is priority first. If we've got a somebody's got to be somewhere at five o'clock. Yeah, right. then we'll be done by three. That's right. Correct. That's right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. we have to and we're in the position thankfully mm -hmm. that we can do that yeah we're yeah. on our clock yeah we are. I'm yeah i was gonna say that's a benefit that something really had yeah. to happen you could well i'm gonna segue a little bit and talk about secrets i know you both are the executive producers and i think tamara you direct and then you've written some of it or do you i don't know if you've written all the episodes I, uh, I there's three executive producers myself josita or tangy um rick house baby mm -hmm. um <laughs> So her and I co-wrote on the second season. Got it. On um, the first season, we had additional writers, uh, Latasha Robinson and okay. Donna Johnson. Awesome. First season. Mm -hmm. um, and then Tangi is the, I mean, in, in Hollywood, it probably wouldn't be like this. But again, this is our space. It's our space. Um, <laughs> she is the primary director and I co-direct with her. Correct. So awesome. we work together. Awesome. Yeah. So Tam is the director of photography. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got yeah. it, got it. Well, first of all, I want to say, first of all, I think the show is so, so good. I, I, I don't want to, well, first it's on Tubi, you all. So just look that up um, and search it. And I know people will make comments about like, ooh, Tubi movies and stuff, sorry. But this is nothing, y'all, it's, it's so good. good. Watch it. I, and I, I, you know, I was like, okay, let me just, you know, let me do some research. And y'all, I was like completely drawn in. I'm hooked. I was telling um, Al, I was like, okay, I think I'm gonna have to take this Sunday because I'm doing something on Saturday. This Sunday when the kids go take their nap, I'm gonna get my meal, it'll be my cheat day. I'm gonna get a good meal. I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna finish watching it. Cause like I'm hooked in. The cinematography is so good. Like, oh my gosh, the, the acting, the writing, it, it's not predictable. It's not like, oh, okay, I know what's gonna happen. I'm not bored. Like I'm totally like, all the way in like yeah yeah so good i like i said i'm not trying to flatter you all or anything like that it is really really good and this is coming from someone i literally only watch maybe a new show once a year like i other than that though i stick with my basics i'm just so busy i really don't have time to just sit and like Same. watch Same. shows so it's really like law and order for you you know nightmare next doors desperate housewives like i have my little you know and this time we have to add it the secrets to it. I keep uh, calling it the secrets. I know it's secrets in plain sight, but I call it the secrets, whatever. But um, yeah, it's Listen, we so- We everything. everything. Short right. everything. Sips. <laughs> yeah, we call it sips. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. How'd y'all get started with that? Um, it was actually a stage play first, and we were coming up 2020. 2020. We had done it in our black box theater off Shakespeare Road here in Columbia, okay. South Carolina. And we were like, we're going to put it on the main stage at Harbison Theater. Yeah. And then COVID said, absolutely no. Not. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the timing. We're literally trying to follow the news, trying to see, oh, should we cancel? Should we not? Should we this? Should we that? Mm -hmm. And then it was just like, no, we're going to cancel. So then we're like, mm -hmm. okay, we're canceling the stage show. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how many months later we were just like, you know, we just need to turn it into a TV show, which yeah. I had already felt for a while. Yeah. We did it at the Black Box. I was like, yo, this is a TV show. This is not, this is not a stage play. It's, yeah, it's big. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. full of space. Mm -hmm. or it's, at least that's how it felt. Mm -hmm. But um, the stage play was still great, oh, nonetheless. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But we were like, let's turn it into a TV show. Why not? We yeah. ain't got nothing to do. We at that's home. Right. Everybody <laughs> home doing nothing, no but way. See, and good we timing, you know? <laughs> Yeah. was yeah mm -hmm. it was great time. yeah mm -hmm. so you could i mean and that what i like is um because i was looking at some of i remember one that mentioned south carolina so i was like okay maybe it's like in greenville but then i was seeing some of the signs on and i was like oh that's columbia because i used to live in columbia i was like oh, okay i recognize that so was that very intentional that you wanted to be like in the same city and kind of um you know put yeah. well, on the map <laughs> columbia has its rap as to what people think it is mm -hmm. i mean i'm home 
And so I'm going to, you know, showcase where we live Mm -hmm. and people were very shocked and surprised, like of the aerials and stuff. I didn't know it looked like that. I'm like, it's a city. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Right. You know, this is how it looks. And so even, you know, in season two, we're same thing. It's Mm -hmm. just like showcasing. um, One thing we like to do is showcase local businesses. Absolutely. Like. Anyone we work with, um, anyone who's willing to let us come in, you know, to their space, okay. we're like, we're going to know about this business, mm-hmm. uh, either through the show or through our website or, through or our whatever, yeah, through okay. promotions yeah. or whatever, but you're going to know what's in Columbia. I love that. Columbia. And the hair salon, um, what's it called? Uh, was it Blue? Blush. 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 Is that real? Yes. yes. Oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I was like, oh, I wonder if that's a real slot. But um, so what is next? Do you guys have any other shows that you're doing or movies or anything you'd like to promote or that's coming up soon? Or? Season two. Season, Season two. two is on the way. Yeah. Um, because of the nature of time and how things work with us it's kind of like right now it's it's mainly secrets um, yeah. right now. But yeah, Season I mean, two that's is- a big, <laughs> that's big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're we're definitely gearing up for the pushing of that and so if you haven't seen season one uh check it out but um yeah it just for right now but there are definitely more projects there'll be more there'll definitely be more this this was the foray into this space for us secrets was and so um there's definitely more so outside of secrets of course we're looking now into promoting secrets more it both in state and out so we want to know about secrets yeah um but we're also looking into potentially distributing some of our plays correct yeah on like to be in different platforms mm-hmm. and things so that way people still have more things to see mm-hmm. you yeah. know from us more content mm-hmm. um and yeah we definitely we want to get into the movies as well absolutely yeah awesome. awesome well before i let you ladies go i always try at the end of the episode to kind of have our guests kind of tell the audience um, kind of like an inspirational word or anything that if for, especially if, if someone wants to get into this industry, if someone wants to get into videography or uh, directing or producing, what, what can you tell them if they're just kind of like maybe starting out and they're feeling discouraged? Like, I don't know how to get started. I, I, I'm feeling like low down here and I, I'm, I'm feeling like nothing's working. What, what, how could you kind of minister to them? A lot of it for me, one of the biggest things in this space is just do it. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, um, think there's like this and there may have been at one time. I don't feel there is now the way that we got into this is by doing it. Yeah. Not with someone to green light us. We green lit ourselves. We just Mm -hmm. did it. Um, If it's something that is on the inside of you, deep down inside of, you know, you want to God is calling you to that space. Yeah. And it's important to answer that call. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just, even if it's, you know, you have trepidation and you just feel like overwhelmed about it. Cause there's, I mean, when we first started, there's things that we were, I was nervous about, you mm-hmm. know, are people going to like it? Yeah. Are right. people gonna and then you get to a place where it's just like, well, even if they do or they don't, yeah. I have to do this. Yeah. And opportunities that we afford so many different people Mm -hmm. to come on like you don't have to be uh totally experienced to come on our set Mm -mm. yeah you just have to be willing open and want to learn and do and we're just like come on yeah yeah absolutely you know because we were in that position at one point still Mm -hmm. in that position in certain areas yeah but still learning yeah still learning still learning but the growth is there when you are doing it Um, when you sit back and you're just like thinking about doing it that that doesn't breed that growth that you're that's that right. you're mm-hmm. plunging yourself into it mm-hmm. giving yourself to it and saying god you know show me yeah show me what to look at show me who to connect with show mm-hmm. you show me because the desire is there mm-hmm. and once that starts to happen and you start getting that traction it's yeah. just like oh okay, okay. I can yeah do this. yeah I can do this. <laughs> do this so Mm -hmm. that would be my main encouragement i mean it's not you know super churchy but no i think that's (laughs) i think think that's great because i think so many people are just so nervous to make a mistake or they're so intimidated especially i think with the arts it's like one thing if you want to like make chairs for a living 
it doesn't feel so personal if someone says, I don't like your chair. <laughs> I think if someone's like, right. but, you know, yeah. and people are so critical, especially like, mm, I don't like that TV show. I don't like that. I'm like, and then it, I, I can see how one could t- kind of take that to heart. And, you know, you're kind of vulnerable when you put yourself out there, create creatively uh, like that. So I, I get that. Yeah. You sometimes just have to go do it. And I, I also realized too, because I used to be in a position of, oh, you know, you like I said, you really want people to like it. You really want people to love it. Mm-hmm. But the critical voices I really don't care for anymore mm-hmm. because I used to be a very harsh, critical voice, but that's because I was very critical with myself. Yes, right. yes. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But now having worked and done the process, I don't care about the critical voices because yeah. not pretend you are not doing They're what not I doing had to do. Right. <laughs> right. You're just being critical about it. Yeah. Right. So there's difference in constructive criticism. Right. right. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Let us know what's wrong with it. We, yeah. We're trying to fix it. Yeah. But critical for critical sake yeah you're just because we walk through this process yeah i even see things that aren't say up to what my standard would be i'm just like yo kudos to them for finishing yeah it's hard to finish finish. (laughs) like i don't have anything unless somebody asks me i don't have anything negative to say in that light because what it took for them to do that Mm -hmm. and it's hard yes Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They were brave enough Mm -hmm. to do it, to step out, not having all ducks in a row, not knowing what they're doing, and they still got it done. Mm -hmm. Some of us know what to do, and we still ain't doing what we're supposed to do. That's right. Well, there you go. Yeah. (laughs) That's That's, the best. (laughs) I'm done. You're done. done. You're finished. (laughs) (laughs) No, and I would say um, for me, Mm -hmm. word of encouragement would be like, don't let what you foresee as barriers Mm -hmm. stop you from trying. That's good. Right? Yeah. A lot of people say, oh, well, I don't have enough training. Mm -hmm. I don't have enough money to get started. Mm -hmm. We had neither. (laughs) Nothing. Okay. We literally started with what we had. We went to YouTube University. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we figured it out. Like there's so much, there is way too much. We have access to too much knowledge for yeah. you to not be able to know enough just to get started. And yeah, you just correct. keep your crap. Like Tam, I will tell y'all this, like Tam is the DP because this girl like literally studies that. She reads books, she watches the videos. Like I started out kind of like helping with the video and stuff and I'll pick up the camera if I have to, but I'm st- <laughs> okay. So the ISO button is where, and what's the app? And what <laughs> should I I'll be like, Tam, just set it up and then I'll go and I'll run it. I'll right. do some you set it up though. But that's because she put in the time yes. for yeah. you know what I'm saying? Right. You have to dedicate yourself. Yeah. But don't think that like you and now I'm not knocking going to school. If you have yeah, the ability absolutely. to go to school, yeah, do it by all means. Yeah. But if you don't, don't yeah. feel like you still can't do it. Yeah, or that cool. you're not qualified. Because there are people all the time, when we've heard this, people deal with imposter syndrome. Yeah. Even if four years or six or eight or however Correct. you can still feel like you don't know enough mm-hmm. and that's not the voice of the enemy that's right. right so just do absolutely just to go piggyback on what she said just go and do learn study and just go out and do it we literally work on a very small like we've done our projects on minimal budgets then that goes for 171 and wow i wouldn't be able to Vic- tell <laughs> honestly i wouldn't be able to tell <laughs> Thank everyone looks you. good <laughs> you know the sudden everything looks that's good. because we hold ourselves to a certain standard yeah if right. something don't, don't meet our own standard you ain't gonna see it right yeah we're just gonna right. show it like it's not like no 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 we're not ready to put that out <laughs> yeah. we'll work on it <laughs> right we'll find it and we'll bring it back um so yeah so just go out and do and don't be afraid now i'll say with the caveat pray about who to work with that's good but don't be afraid to go and volunteer and go and be on set because you will never get as much knowledge if you're not doing it hands on. Right. Book knowledge is one thing, but yeah. applicable knowledge is, is, is something completely different. Yeah. Yeah. So get out there, get on somebody's set and just work it out. And don't feel like you got to be, you know, the head person. Like if you're trying to be DP, don't go in there messing with the DP, right. trying to tell them what to do. And just like, no, just sit back. If you need to be a PA, be a PA. You can right. learn a lot. Right. You can learn a whole lot starting right there. Right. And I've been a PA. I've, she I has. Have you have. Yep. Shot things that have won awards. And I still went on someone's set as a PA. Yeah. Yep. I do, they were just like, yeah, if we work together again. I'm not putting you there. I'm yeah. just like, fine. But I just, 
you have to be able to absorb and learn. And the other big thing is not being afraid to fail. Hmm. Yes. Because you will fail. Yes. But how do you deal with what you perceive as failure? Right. Mm-hmm. going to be key. So yeah. it's just like in the process of jumping out there, doing it, working with different people, mm-hmm. you may fail. Mm-hmm. It's not the end of the world. It's not. It may feel that way, but it's really not. It's the stepping stone to you getting better yep. at what it is you are putting your hands to. Wow. <laughs> Get it? No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> wow. But uh, this was great. Um, I was just taking it all in. Um, you guys, please be sure to follow both of these ladies. I'll leave all their information. So make sure you watch to the end. I'll have all of that in the credits. But thank you all so much for joining me and being my guest. Uh, I think this will really help someone who's, even if they're not trying to get into your industry specifically, I mean, the advice is applicable to really anything you're trying to get into. So thank you ladies so much. And again, um, Josie Trebaxter and Tamara Fink, Finkbeiner. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> thank you for having us. Yes, thank you. Oh, well, thank you. And you all be sure to watch their show, Secrets. Um, it's on Tubi. I'll make sure I leave the link. Secrets in Plain Sight. Secrets in plain yes. sight. <laughs> make sure you, I'll make sure I leave the links and all of that so you guys can know how to access that. But um, thank you guys so much again. Thank you. Um, okay. Thank you.